Yo, what is up everybody? Dave here coming back to you with a fun new video idea on the channel. This video is all about taking the gear ratios from a real life car and plugging them into 1320 Challenge to see how different cars will react to those gear ratios. And I think even to make take it one step further, it would be a lot of fun to use something that is similar horsepower and weight. But unfortunately, with the car that I decided to use, uh, it's not possible to do that because the car that I decided to use only has about 60 horsepower and 23 foot-pounds of torque. I will leave it to you to guess what kind of vehicle I am doing in the comments down below that I am copying gear ratios off of. It does have two different sets of ratios for two different variants of the car. I am potentially buying this car in the next few days if I can sell the Chevy Sonic. Let's see if you can guess it in the comments down below. I will give you a hint. It is 25 years or older. So, anyway, let's get started. So... I only have fifth here as like a cautionary thing. Uh, fifth gear does not exist on this car. Uh, it is a four-speed automatic or a quote-unquote five-speed manual, but the fifth gear is marked as a reverse, and it's only slightly lower than the first gear. I don't understand how it works, but there are two different variants of the final drive. So there's a 4.705, for the automatic and a one of the other variants of the cars that I saw maybe this is the all-wheel drive variant I don't know it's weird this is the final drive that's in the car that I'm looking at uh, 2.562 so we're gonna try the 4.705 first and funny enough we're gonna use the highest horsepower car in the game well not the highest but I guess display HP it is the highest <laughs> let's go so Let's see what this thing does with 4.705 final gear and these weird first few gears. It's probably going to, yeah, I figured it would do that. It takes me all the way to sixth. There's no working around that. Honestly, these might be great gear ratios for this. Okay. So, yeah, we knew right away that wasn't going to work. Um, let's go back to the truck. And let's plug in the 2.562. And let's see what this thing does with... There we go. So let's see what this thing does with nitrous with the lower final. It does still go all the way to fifth. I think I just expected that. There's no getting around that on an 18,000 horsepower truck. These are good ratios, good starter ratios. Let's try these on a different vehicle. I have already plugged these things into the WRX with that final drive. I want to try the 2.562. I will save you the headache of having to watch. Uh, it did not work <laughs> with the 4.705. Uh, this is an almost stock WRX. No turbo installed. Um nitrous and tires only I believe and gearbox I haven't really messed with it anything other than that all right this is slow but this might work only as a four gear <clears throat> let's see how this does yeah only went to fourth gear got to an, about an 11 that's cool that was with nitrous uh what are you dino out at okay Let's try it with this. These ratios are garbage. 0.818. One, uh, uh, 2.277. 0 0.521. 0 1.030. Just in case. And then we'll try the 4.705 first. Do I have nitrous on this? I do not, but I will fix that and I will reinstall the nitrous. I never had nitrous to begin with. All right. All right. Let's see what this thing does first with the 4.705s. Just for fun. I believe this does have at least the supercharger installed. I don't know if it makes any boost, though. Okay. Yeah, this is not going to be a four-gear car the way it's set up. So we do have to go to fifth, unfortunately. 10.966, not bad. So far, two different cars with basically the same ratios running exactly the same. Who would have thought? Let's full rev it. 
see what it does. And then I'll run the 2.562s and see what happens. All right, so on this vehicle, the best place to shift, in my opinion, seems to be between the 8,000 and the rev limit. 10.8, not bad. Let's see what this thing does with the 2.562. It's going to be completely fine with the 2.562. I'm sure of it. All right, let's go. I'm going to full rev it because it's already going to be slow. Might as well. Okay. Gets off the line still pretty well. Two. This is going to probably end up being... This is going to be a three gear with these ratios. Not bad. I wonder if it's consistent. I kind of doubt it because of the way the game works. I don't think it's going to be consistent. I could mess with the supercharger a little bit and pull out a little bit more horsepower to make it a perfect four gear two or was it three yeah it was a three gear I could pull a little more power and make it a perfect three gear let's try it let's see what happens here put it up to eight psi which is roughly 460 okay let's go again and see what this thing does with 460 horsepower on the same gears with a little bit more boost. The launch is so weird on this car. Oh yeah, isn't this a tur this is a turbo car? I forgot. Is it going to be a perfect three gear now? Maybe. Almost. Ooh, 12.134. That's a fun dial in. Let's try this again. Full rev is so silly of a thing. I definitely am torn on if it should be a thing or not. Let's have a chat about it. Oh, I got 0.5'd by the AI. That's fantastic. Wow. Okay, I kind of want to know how many in a row I'm going to get. I'm going to leave this alone and test it later. Maybe you guys will see a bracket set up for this thing. That'll be fun. Um, Let's try... One more car. Let's do something a tad ridiculous. Let's do a real premium. Let's do... What's the one I hate the most? That's not mine to mess with. The ratios on this are exactly the same as the TFD, so this is not a loss. 0.818. Oops, oops, oops. <coughs> 2.277. 1.521. 1.030, and we'll just leave that alone, but we'll do the 2.562 because we obviously know the 4.705 is not going to do anything correctly here. <laughs> All right, let's see what this thing does. This should be interesting. All right, let's clutch down. Everything is set. Oh, yeah, that's right. Slow car. Okay, I shifted that really early. It almost works as like a good old bracket car. You know what? Let's try launching it in second. That'll be interesting. I, I love launching cars in second by mistake. Just kidding. It's usually on purpose. 4805, not bad. All right, we'll launch it in first again. I just want to see if, I wonder if I lower the final drive just a tad bit, if I could make this a perfect four gear. I mean, that's kind of obvious, actually. That's a dumb thing to ask. It doesn't need much to make it a perfect four gear. Where is that thing? Let's just see what it would have to be. I bet in this. I think it did 2.3. I'm still mostly using the real ratios. Come on. If you guys have any other suggestions for cars I should mock up in 1320 Challenge and see what they run, I have ways that I can probably clone a real-life car pretty easily to see what they would run in 1320 Challenge. So leave your comments below on car suggestions. I bet we could have some fun with this. They won't look the part, 
but I can definitely make them race the part to see what they would run in 1320 challenge. I definitely think that would be a ton of fun. There we go. Is it a perfect four? Almost. That's pretty much spot on for a perfect four gear. Anyway, this is a 10 minute video at this point. I ran it on a couple cars. Leave some suggestions in the comments down below on other cars to run uh, weird real life ratios or setups on. And I will try to clone those cars in the game as best as I can. Talk to you guys later. Peace out.